Welcome to Shades of Grace. My name is Justin Yarnell with Yarnell Ministries. Uh, our ministry goes into all the world sharing the gospel of grace in some of the most unreached places on earth. We wanted to share this teaching with you on the completed and finished work of Jesus Christ. We're going to be bringing this to you as often as we can because we want to help people grow in grace with us and grow into the intimate relationship with Jesus Christ that he so longs and desires for us to have with him. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn with me to Colossians chapter 1, verse 21. It says this, Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish, and free from accusation. Friends, this is an amazing point that I think a lot of people miss here. It says, once you were alienated from God and enemies, but the next sentence says it was in your mind. It's only in your mind. And this is something that Adam and Eve didn't understand in the garden. See, when they display that evil behavior, they sin, they disobey God. It didn't change God. It simply changed them. It made them feel alienated, and it made them feel like they were enemies in their minds. And that's what happens to people today. Everybody sins. The Bible says all of us, you know, fall short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. None of us are perfect, and God knows that. If he expected us to be perfect, he would have created us perfect. But he created us human beings. He knows that we're going to sin. He knows we're going to blow it from time to time. But what the devil likes to do is make us feel alienated and like we're enemies of God, but it's only in our mind. And it's crucial that we understand this because this is what keeps us in our close-knit relationship with Jesus Christ and God the Father and the Holy Spirit. See, we're not enemies of God. It's only in our mind. But what sin does is it's, sin itself has its own punishment and condemnation built into it. God is not in the business of punishing people for sin. He took care of that on the cross of Jesus Christ. All of our sin was punished, past, present, and future. There is no more punishment for sin, and we'll get into that later. But the, all the sin of the entire world, everybody in the world, was punished in the body of Jesus Christ on the cross. So there is no more punishment for sin. It's all been dealt with. God has seen all of our sin, past, present, and future, and he had a plan. And that plan was in effect even before Adam and Eve sinned. That did not sneak up on God. What happened in the Garden of Eden, God already knew that that was going to happen, and he had the plan of redemption already in effect. But what happened is, when Adam and Eve sinned, uh, that sin itself was pregnant with its own guilt and condemnation, and it made Adam and Eve feel like they were enemies of God, and they were alienated from God, and so they were hiding from him in the Garden. And that's what happens today with believers when they sin, when they mess up. It makes them feel alienated, makes them feel like enemies, and they begin to hide from God. But it's just not necessary because it's only in our minds. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this teaching today. We look forward to bringing you more and more of God's grace and the completed work of Jesus Christ. Feel free to email us at yarnell1 at mac.com. Also, feel free to check out our website at www.yarnellministries.com. We'll see you next time.